Off you go. Just anything. Anything, yeah. Just to carry on with what you're saying about Charlie. Okay, yeah. Well, a couple of years ago, a viewer wrote in to me, I asked what I had the guy called Charlie to his weight, so I said, yeah, okay. He weighed 44 stone at the time. Wow. And uh, luckily, he lives in Manchester, where I'm based as a GP. So I went to see him, and um, this guy couldn't walk more than five yards without gasping, sweating, you know. And um, I said to Charlie, well, you've got to get walking and you have to follow a low-fat diet, less than 3% fat, etc. So I started taking him for walks every week, gave him a step counter to every day, and he was doing 300 steps a day then. And I thought, you've got to get this up, we've got up to 400 and then 500. And um, well, the first 12 months he lost 20 stone, which is a UK record, um, and he's lost a further 10 stone, so he's lost 30 stone from 44 down to 14, yeah, and that's all through walking and low fat diet, nothing else. That's brilliant. And you know, he, he, he does 15, 20,000 steps on a bad day, he's just on the London Marathon, the Great North Run, he does two 10k walks a week, and he's going to run in the New York Marathon in November. That's and brilliant. That, and that's all from walking. I'm a very keen advocate of <laughs> getting people, look, there's an obesity problem out there. They're all dieting, they're not losing weight. Why? Because they're not, they're, they're, you know, they're going for a diet, they're not doing it. You've got to do the walk, you've got to get walking. Sure. So simple as that. How far do people have to walk to make a difference? Is the 10,000 steps a good guide? 10,000 steps. Or more than that? Oh yeah, I mean, you, know, you should be doing at least 10,000 steps a day. Uh -huh. and actually, that's not too difficult. I mean, I usually wear a step count all the time. I um, haven't got one on today, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, you know, you've got to do at least 10,000. But, you know, when you, if you wear a pedometer, a step count, it's your conscience on your belt. You know, you'd see it. You know, the lift or the stairs, you've got to go up the stairs, get your step count up, you know, yeah. instead of going to the car, to the corner shop, go and walk. It just makes you more aware that you've got to be doing more walking to get your step count up. Sure. And record that every day in your diary, how many steps you've done every single day. Does it matter how fast you walk? Does it help to walk faster or? Well, yeah, but can you walk fast? I mean, a lot of people who are overweight can't walk fast. Sure. So that doesn't matter as long as they can walk. Um, I mean, I say to patients, you should go for a walk every day, come rain or shine, and you have to do a 15 minute walk out, only stop once when you turn around, to come back, so you've done 30 minutes, non-stop walking, yeah. right, come rain or shine, every single day. And yeah. what are the health benefits, apart from weight loss, obviously? Yeah, well of course, I mean, because of weight loss, you reduce your risk of heart disease, stroke, Diabetes. People don't think what diabetes is. You know, it makes you go blind. Again, stroke, heart disease, kidney failure, weight and kidney transplants, and gangrene of the legs caused by bad circulation. You know, that's what diabetes does to you. Um, and then, of course, the other benefits are, of course, mentally you feel better, you sleep better, um, and, and if you are exercising, even when you're resting, you boost your metabolic rate. Your metabolic rate at rest is higher when you're doing some form of exercise during the day. <laughs> and of course, I mean, other benefits, I mean, for women, reduction in the risk of breast cancer, okay. just by exercising. Uh, losing weight, of course, reduces the risk of breast cancer. Yeah. Eating a low-fat diet reduces the risk of breast cancer. So many benefits. Yeah. <laughs> so, does it matter whether you walk in the city or the country? It doesn't matter where you walk, as long as you walk. Yeah. I mean, the, the question of speed. I mean, you, you, you may not be able to walk fast, but at least if you start walking, like Charlie, couldn't walk very fast, couldn't walk very far. But as you start doing the walking, you find you can go a little bit further, or you can go a little bit faster. Now, if you just do 30 minutes a day, 30 minutes you might, I don't know, just walk, say, 2,000 steps at first. But then you'll find yourself doing 3,000, then 5,000, because you're walking faster. And you might be able to maybe jog between one lamp post and the next, then walk between the next lamp post and one after. And do you recommend anything to prevent injury when you're first starting out? Well, I mean, you should wear sensible shoes, obviously. You know, that's the important thing to do. Um, I mean, Charlie couldn't wear shoes. Right. Because he couldn't tie laces, he couldn't get down there. 
It's 44 stone. Oh. And one of his wishes on his wish list was to be able to tie laces in shoes. So eventually, you know, when he lost weight, he could reach down and he could bought himself his first pair of trainers. You know, in 20 odd years. So yeah, sensible footwear and sensible clothing as well. You know, maybe waterproof. <laughs> yeah, in this country. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And is it ever too late to start walking for exercise? No, it's never too late. Never too late. No matter how old you are, you know, exercise is one of the best therapies. I have the two patients and they both consume 4,000 calories a day and they're both slim. And one is a postman and the other one's an open. And that's why they're slim. They're walking every day. And yet they're eating 4,000 calories. They're not dieting and they're skinny. Thank you, then. <laughs> yeah, well, that's how it is. You know. Thank you very much. Pleasure.